Hey everyone and welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel if you are joining me for the first time today. My name is Lucy and today I created this gorgeous smoky spotlight eye using all of my Maven Beauty products. We have got a lot here to get through. So if you do wanna see how the products work and my raw and honest opinions of them, then please do keep on watching. As I would have just mentioned in the intro, today we are gonna create a really fun makeup look using Maven Beauty. If you guys have not heard of Maven Beauty, this is a makeup brand which is owned by Fashion Nova. I'm sure everyone has heard of Fashion Nova, otherwise you're living under a rock. I've mentioned previously in a couple of my other videos that sometimes I am a bit skeptical about makeup brands which are brought out by clothing lines, but honestly, Maven Beauty is the exception. I am genuinely really blown away with a lot of their products. I do also just wanna put it out there that this video is in collaboration with Maven Beauty, although as always, my opinions are my own. I'm never gonna glorify a product if it doesn't genuinely work for me. So I am gonna be very open and honest with my opinions and I just really want to show you the products, show you how they work and how they look when you use them. As you can tell, I have already shaped and carved underneath my brows. That's purely just because they don't actually have any brow products or if they do, I don't have them to use today. I've just gone ahead and used my soap on my brows like I normally would and carved underneath them with concealer and now I'm ready to start. As always with any great makeup look you always have to start with a really really solid eye primer. Now Maven Beauty don't actually have an eye primer so for today I am actually going to be going in with my trusty P. Louise base. Everybody knows that I absolutely love and rave about this product. Today I'm going in with the shade Rumor 2 which is the one that I generally use most times that I do my eyeshadow. I'm just going to coat this all over my eyelid using the Maven Beauty flat concealer brush. As well as all the amazing makeup products they do also actually have a brush range out and also lashes now as well. I am just obsessed with these brushes. Like I'm not even just saying this for the purpose of the video, but I genuinely am obsessed with these brushes. I have been using them every single day that I do my makeup since I received them. I really think that the orange sort of see-through packaging is just very, very unique and it's also quite sleek looking as well. To pat the eye base into my eye, I'm gonna be going in with the Maven All Over Shadow Brush, which looks like so. It's a really large concealer sort of eyeshadow brush, but I really love using Using this for my eye primer. I actually had an allergic reaction to a product that I used last week and my eyes since have been really really dry. It was mostly my under eyes but now I'm noticing that actually my eyelid is also really dry still as well. So if I zoom you in and you do notice that then please don't think that it's any of the products causing that. It's just because my eyes are still on a bit of a come down from my allergic reaction and they are a bit dry and crusty at the minute. So to start off with our eyeshadow look today I'm actually going to be going in with the Maven Cream Eyeshadow in the the shade Teddy which is a really gorgeous cool toned sort of brownie shade. As you would have seen in a couple of my spotlight videos before I always like to start with a cream eyeshadow to build up the colour and then go on top with the eyeshadows afterwards. So I've just applied a little bit of that cream shadow to the back of my hand. Now I'm going to be taking the Maven small cream eyeshadow brush which is actually perfect. It fits the step perfectly. Picking that product up on the brush I'm going to start by just patting this on my inner and my outer corners just to build up a little bit of colour there. This doesn't have to be super super dark to begin with. It is just sort of giving us a base for that eyeshadow that we're going to be putting on later. As you can see, I am only patting this product onto my eye. I'm not swiping it or blending it just yet. I'm just patting it on to build up that color. So at this stage, everything does look a little bit messy. Don't worry, it's always just about trust the process. So we are gonna go in now with a clean eyeshadow brush and just start to blend out those edges. For this, I'm gonna be using the Maven Detailed Crease Brush, which is just a really cute little dense round topped eyeshadow brush. And this is gonna be perfect just to sort of buff out those edges. So there is that cream eyeshadow sort of semi blended out. Again, it's not perfect at the minute, but it's something that we build up and we work on. So now I'm gonna go in with the eyeshadows. Maven do have a fair choice of sort of neutral eyeshadows. If anything, the one thing I will say is for me, you guys know I absolutely love to use color. A lot of their eyeshadow palettes are based more around sort of neutral and natural looking eyeshadow colors. So if you are someone who just likes to do sort of the everyday eyeshadow wear, then these will be absolutely perfect for you. As you can 
can see they're just a variety of sort of warm, really, really natural shades. Although I would love to see some colorful shadows from them in the future because I really do feel like that is what I am missing. Luckily for this look, I am only going in with a sort of neutral color scheme anyway. So it doesn't really matter too much this time around, but Maven, I would like to see some colorful shadows in the future if possible, please. The first quad palette that I'm gonna be taking is the Basic Beat Define eyeshadow palette. And I'm gonna be taking the dark brown shade up in the corner here. I'm gonna pick that shade up on my Maven Defined eyeshadow brush. And I'm just gonna sort of pack that onto my inner and outer corners to build up the color there. The next palette that I'm going in with is the Medium Blend palette and I'm going to be taking the shade up in the top right hand corner up here. It's just a really gorgeous neutral toned sort of brown shade and I'm also taking that on the detailed crease brush again like I did before. I'm just going to take this and just diffuse over the edges of that darker brown area. Okay, so this is where we're at at the minute. Still not looking perfect, still not looking very blended. Don't worry, I promise you it will all come together eventually. Now I'm gonna be taking the Soft Blend palette and I'm gonna take the shade up in the top left-hand corner, which is this gorgeous sort of white shade. If you have watched any of my how-to videos, specifically the blending eyeshadow video, you would know that one of my top tips for blending eyeshadow is to take a white or a really nice light bright shade at the top of your blend because it really just helps to diffuse the colors out into your skin tone and it creates a a really flawless looking blend. I'm also taking that on the full crease brush and I'm just lightly gonna blend that over the outer edges. Now I'm gonna go back in with the medium blender palette and the same shade that I used before on the same brush as well, which was the detailed crease brush. And I'm just gonna go in now and build up that color. Once again, I'm going back into the first eyeshadow palette which I used, which was the Define palette, taking that dark brown shade again. And I'm just gonna go ahead and just build that up one more time. I feel like the more you start to blend over the top of it, you just sort of lose that intensity and that color. So I'm just going in again with that really nice defined eyeshadow brush and I'm just gonna to start to pack this back onto the outer corners and just revive a bit of that depth there. So now we are sort of done with the blending portion of this eyeshadow look for the time being. Now comes the fun part. So I'm gonna go in for my spotlight. To do that, I'm gonna be using the cream eyeshadow in the shade Coquito. I really don't know if I've pronounced that right, but there's the shade. This is basically just a creamy sort of skin color, especially for my skin color anyway. So I'm just gonna take that first on the back of my hand and I'm gonna be taking the eyeshadow smudge brush, which is really cute, really tiny and dense. And I'm just gonna sort of use this to mark out my spotlight. So I'm just using tiny, tiny patting motions and just patting that back up the center where it's got lost a little bit with the eyeshadow. Now I'm gonna be taking the Soft Blend palette again. I'm gonna take the shade in the bottom left-hand corner. It's just sort of a warm toned, creamy color. This is just gonna work as our transition shade from the eyeshadow into that negative space. So I'm just patting this up the edges. Okay, onto the shimmer. This is my absolute favorite part of doing a spotlight eye. And I think you guys are gonna be pretty blown away with this product. These are the Metallic Liquid Glitter Eyeshadows by Maven Beauty. I'm not even exaggerating. I have never seen a metallic liquid eyeshadow quite like this. You guys should know by now I am not one to use liquid eyeshadows. I really rarely use them unless I am doing a look like a spotlight eye. Generally I don't really like the feeling of them on my eye. I think that they flake off quite easily but these ones do not and they are so beautiful. Like honestly let me just do a quick swatch. This one I'm using by the way is in the shade UFO which is almost sort of like a silver with green reflex in it. It's absolutely stunning. Let me just show you. Can you see that? Like, I love that it's not in your face, but when you catch it in the light, it's just the most stunning reflex of like green, blue. Oh my God, I just love it. You could just go in with the doe foot applicator, but I prefer to use a brush just so I have a little bit more control over where it's going. I'm just gonna sort of apply some of that to the back of my hand first, and then I'm gonna go ahead and pick it up on my brush. I'm gonna use the cream eyeshadow brush by Maven, which is just sort of a flat looking concealer brush, and just apply it really gently to the center of that negative space. Thank you. 
Just to finish off the top half of my eyeshadow, I'm going in now with the Maven Waterproof Liquid Eyeliner. This is in the shade Brown. So these liners are activated by twisting, so you only have to do a couple of clicks at the bottom of the liner. Then the product will start to sort of work its way up and to the tip of the brush. You do have to be careful with these liners though that you don't squeeze out too much product. I actually had an incident the other week where I was trying to activate the black eyeliner and I kept twisting it and nothing was happening for a few minutes. I think I just got really impatient and kept twisting, twisting, twisting and then all at once it just exploded all over my gray joggers. They went in the wash, they didn't come out clean. So at the very beginning, it does obviously take a little while longer Longer, but once you've activated it, you literally only need to do one click at a time and it will bring up a little bit more product for you. I'm just gonna do a nice little line across my lash line just to join the two edges of brown together. Just like that, from the inner corner to the outer corner, just to join those two bits of brown together. This is also gonna help us when we put our lash on, just to hide that lash band a little bit. So that is it for the upper portion of my eyes. Of course, I am gonna go in with lashes, but as you should know by now, I always like to do lashes after the rest of my face. So as far as I am currently aware, I believe that Maven doesn't have face products yet, as in like foundations, primers, um, concealers, stuff like that. So what I'm gonna be doing is going in with my Maven brushes, because they do have a lot of face brushes to use. But I'm going to be going in with my regular sort of skin products just so I can show you how the brushes apply the makeup. To start off with my primer, I am going to be using the Laura Mercier Pure Canvas Primer. This is the hydrating one. I really love the feel of this primer on my skin. I just like to apply my primers with my hands. I mean, nothing fancy. It's literally only primer. For my foundation today, I'm going to be taking a little bit of the NARS Radiant Longwear Foundation. This is in the shade Vienna, which is definitely too tanned for me at the minute. It. So I'm also going to mix it in with a bit of the Born to Glow foundation by NYX in the shade Light Ivory. So I'm going to take the Maven flat foundation brush. I'm just going to mix those shades together on the back of my hand and then just start to sort of apply it to my skin. To blend that foundation in, I'm taking the Angled Buff brush, which I absolutely love for foundation. It's so dense, but it just really gets that foundation in there and it blends it out flawlessly. For my concealer today, I'm just taking my trusty old Revolution Conceal and Define Concealer. This is in the shade C3, and I'm just gonna apply this underneath my eyes. To blend that concealer in, I'm taking the Concealer Blending Brush. Sounds pretty legit. <laughs> I have never really been one to use concealer brushes to blend in my concealer. I generally use sponges because I feel like it's just much quicker, and obviously I'm lazy. But I really do like this brush. I've been using this a lot recently, and I really feel like it gives a really flawless under eye look. To cream contour my face, I'm going to be taking the brand new Patrick Ta Cream Contour and Powder Bronzer Duo. I absolutely have been loving this product recently. I'm going to be taking the Control Contour Brush. This is much more of a dense contour brush, so definitely better used for cream contouring as opposed to powder contouring. But I'm just going to take that into my cream shade and just sort of tap it in there to pick up some of that cream onto the brush. Then I'm going to go straight into my cheekbones and just pat it off into there. So I've just gone in with a little bit of my Strawberry Drip Cream Blusher by Fenty Beauty on the back of my sponge, just because I prefer to apply cream blush sometimes with a sponge over a brush. But now it's time to set my face, so I'm gonna be taking my Anastasia Beverly Hills Loose Setting Powder in Vanilla on my Maven Detailed Highlighter Brush, but I really love this brush for under eye powdering. I feel like it's just the perfect size to get right underneath your eye. And then to set the rest of my face, I'm gonna be taking the refined powder brush again with the same powder and just loosely gonna set the rest of my face into place. Going back in now with my Patrick Tarte Bronzer Duo, I'm going in with the powder side and I'm gonna take the contour fan brush. This is just a really great brush just to get right into your cheekbones and proper chisel them out. I've also just added a little bit of blush with my Lottie London Blush Crush in the shade Drake using the Maven Beauty Angled Brush. And I just like to brush that over the apples of my cheeks. Now I'm going in with my favorite, favorite highlighter. I have genuinely been using this so often recently just because of how blinding it looks, especially in pictures. It's just super glowy and gorgeous. This is the Maven Beauty Highlighter in the shade Draped Up. It's like a rose gold color, which I personally really like on my skin tone. I find that gold 
golden tones just look a little bit too warm on me so I prefer to go for something with a little bit of a pink undertone. To apply this I like to use the eyeshadow blending brush also by Maven. You might have heard me say this in a few other of my videos but I just really like to use eyeshadow brushes for highlighter because I feel like you get a little bit more control over where you're applying it. So there is my skin all done. Now moving back in to do my under eyes. As the Maven liners are obviously very, very liquidy, I wouldn't suggest ever using them on your waterline. So for that reason, I'm actually gonna be going in with the Morphe Coffee Gel Liner on my waterline today, which is a really gorgeous dark brown shade. It will also match up with the liner up on our top lash line perfectly as well. To apply this, I'm using the Maven Angled Brow Brush. This is a super, super, super thin brow sort of liner brush. And then I'm just gonna stamp that into my waterline to create a nice smoky brown line. You guys know the drill, what goes up must come down. So with that being said, I'm gonna use the same colors that I used up on my lids and bring them under my eye as well. So I'm gonna start again with the Define eyeshadow palette, taking that dark brown shade. I'm just gonna really, really concentrate that right underneath my lower lash line where I've just applied that liner. Now I'm gonna be going in with the medium blend palette again and taking that same brown shade that I used up on the top and just running that below the dark brown shade and joining it up with the wing. So I've just gone ahead and quickly applied some mascara to my top and my bottom lashes and now I'm going in with my falsies. For my lashes I'm going in with the Maven Beauty 05 lashes. I absolutely love these little baggies that they come in. Like how cute is this? It's got a little zipper top and then you just pull the lash out. I've never seen a lash come in packaging like that. If anyone was wondering the lashes are also 100% vegan and cruelty free which is obviously fantastic. We love to hear it. Lashes are on and the final step of this makeup look is of course lips. Now Maven don't actually have lip liners. So what I'm gonna do is go in with one of my new Huda Beauty lip contour lip liners. These are their brand new formula. I'm thinking I want to do something with a warm sort of dark brown into an ombre lighter brown in the middle just to sort of pull together the dark brown tones in my eyeshadow. So I'm gonna use this shade which is rich brown which is quite a dark brown color. In the center of that lip liner I'm gonna go in with my Maven lipstick in the shade shade Flex. This one is a velvet finish so it's not matte and it's not dewy. It's just a really nice comfortable formula. And then just to sort of lighten up the very very center, I do feel like the dark lip makes me look even more washed out and pale than I already am. I'm gonna take this cream shadow again, which is the one that I use down my spotlight, and I'm just really lightly gonna pat that to the very very center of my lip just to add a really nice ombre effect. I don't actually have a Maven lip gloss here to use at the minute, so I'm gonna go ahead and just apply a gloss on top as well. This is the NYX Butter Gloss in the shade Madeline. I just feel like I do need a bit of a glossy lip to pull together the glitter on my eyes, so I'm just gonna go ahead and apply this. So this, you guys, is my finished full face of Maven Beauty. As I mentioned at the beginning of this video, of course, this video is very kindly in partnership with Maven Beauty, although all of the opinions are my own. I would never glorify a product if I didn't really, really believe it was something special. It's just not something I believe in and it's not something I would ever want to do on my platform. So I really hope you guys do know that. All in all, I am very, very impressed with all of the Maven products. My favorite things for me are probably the liquid glitter eyeshadows. I love the lashes. I love how they're foam ink and they're obviously cruelty free and vegan. But let me know what you guys think anyway. If you have tried any of these products, if you're going to get any of these products. One thing I forgot to mention as well is that Maven do currently only ship within the US and Canada. So if you are outside of those, then I don't think that these products are currently available to be shipped to you. I really hope that that is something that Maven are working on within their brand, because it would really be amazing to see these products shipped worldwide eventually. With that being said, if you are within the US or Canada and you want to shop any of these products that I've used today, I'm gonna link all of the products that I used in the description along with the website link, so you can go and check them out for yourself. Thank you so much once again to Maven Beauty for working with me on this video. I have really thoroughly enjoyed enjoyed myself. I really love the outcome of the look. Speaking of which, just before I finish off this video, I want to do one final thing and that is just add a little bit of this glitter shimmer into my inner corners. Yes.
so much better. Let me know what you thought of this look down in the comments below. And if you did enjoy this video, then please make sure to leave me a big thumbs up. Leave me a comment down in the comments box and also subscribe to my channel if you have not already. Also make sure to follow me over on my Instagram if you don't already, which is LSG Makeup. My TikTok is also the same if you wanted to join me on there. But anyways, I'm gonna leave this video here for now. Thank you so much once again for watching. If you got to the end of this video, you are a real one. And I hope to see you in my next video very soon. Bye.